Want to help support the channel? Then why not check out the merch that's available from the links below in the description. Help out the channel and get more phenomenal stuff for yourself. And now with that, let's jump straight into the video. Hey Ranger Nation, welcome back to another video. And this is a special video. I wanna give a big shout out to my friend uh, who got me this for Christmas. This was absolutely unexpected and thank you so much for this. This is absolutely amazing. Uh, I saw it and I was like, oh, that's so cool. Um, so I wanted to review it. So this video is dedicated to them. But let's open with this. First of all, this is the Doctor Strange Eye of Agimoto. And it's basically time travel. Yay, time travel in a box. So we can see there is a lovely display here. We see that it has light effects, effects. Um, okay, so it's basically the same thing. Um, you have it here, which is absolutely awesome. And then if you get this, this is absolutely going to be fantastic, amazing. I cannot wait to look into it and see what you get. Um, on the side, oh, it does. It, you do get it. That's going to be cool. So at the top, it says Doctor Strange. I have Agimoto, and at the bottom, it just says stuff there. So we're going to open up this uh, bad boy and have a look inside. But if you like this old content and you want to see more, hit the like button, hit the subscribe, as well as a cheeky notification bell. Check out the merch. And let's just open it up. And this is everything you get inside it. I am literally blown away with what you get. I generally kept this in here because it looks like a bold suite. Um, but look at this. This is absolutely cool. I didn't realize that you got all of this. Now, I'm one thing I really want to do is I want to put it together, but I don't want it to stick because the power morpher taught me that once you put these things together, you may not be able to, uh, to take them out, but we're gonna give it a go, see what it's all like. But look at this. I love the detail that they've given you on like the rope. It looks cool, we're gonna look at that. But let's open up this thing. Again, it just looks like a, a boiled sweet, but we actually have a time stone. So looking at the time stone, I, I can't really see, but if we kind of zoom in or refocus. So if we zoom in, I feel like it's a CSI thing. You can see that you've got the, the chips here to kind of tell it to light up. And obviously it will. And like, look, just looking at that detail, I think that looks really, really nice to be fair. Uh, very obviously see-through, so obviously because of the light coming through. But yeah, let's kind of put this all together and you can actually see what it's like. I wanted to have a look at the stand first of all, and the detail in this is absolutely amazing. Like, I love what they've done. Like I'm guessing this is exactly from the like the film for the, the design, but it looks absolutely really nice. Like don't use the time stone, don't use it like this. And I've been really cool as if this had like, li like the Avengers fighting Thanos, you know, like the little kind of engraved story for it. But I love the attention to detail that they've done for this. This, this to me is something that is absolutely Sorry, I, I would have on display. I think this is absolutely fucking fantastic. Um, looking at like, say, the detail here along the lines, it looks oh, just, it's just beautiful. It's a beautiful item that they've done. And I really like how they've done it. So even if like moving up, like even when the light catches it, you can see right now, there's so much detail. Can, can we zoom a bit more in? Yeah. I mean, when you look over it, Let's just kind of adjust here. Yeah. Like just looking at how, how that all came into view, like from there to down there, it's beautifully done. And I'm guessing that if we turn it around, it's exactly the same. So there's no, there's no difference from it, which looks, oh, it looks awesome. I really like this. Now this I think is the perfect size. I feel like this, the, the rope at least, oh, there's just, that's awesome. That is definitely, it's not like, I thought it'd be like kind of plastic, but it's actual proper rope, but we're gonna have to try it on later. But looking at the kind of, the eye, I'm guessing that you have to have, like you have to have the um, batteries in. I thought that you'd push that and it would do it, but let's have a look at the detail first. Like even here, oh no, can you just, okay, I thought you could do it, so you need the button. But when you look here, like the detail in the eye of Agimoto is, or well, the Honda is fantastic. Like, let's see if we can get a bit more close in, but can you see like the detail around in here? It's not just kind of left, it's it's fantastic. Like I love the, 
the, the, the black wash, the, the dark finish, it looks absolutely cool. Um, you've got one button, which is mainly there, which I'm guessing when we put batteries in, it's just gonna do it. I thought that you, you might be able to, at the back, hold it. Like there's only one button which pushes the, the time stone out, but even the back, like even if you didn't have that, these details here, but look at that. That looks absolutely spot on. Even on the side, I, I don't feel like there is anything that they've missed on this one. Now I'm not gonna obviously look at reference shot for reference shot, but for a, a cosplay item, if you're doing Doctor Strange, I think this is awesome for what it is. Um, you know, looking here at the rope as well. Oh, just that, I love the way it's tangled up at the moment, but here, if we can zoom in, I'm guessing it's just, yeah, just, you can, obviously you can just put it that way. Can you pull it out? I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna try, to be fair but you just literally slip it on. So let's put some batteries in and see what it's all like. But damn, look at that rope. That looks cool. That looks really cool. So I've put batteries in, as you can tell. Now I have found one or two things that I think kind of bug me a little bit. Um, and that's the, the time stone itself. Uh, you meant to, I, I thought once you put it in, it would connect and it would be fine, but you have to kind of play around with it at the back a little bit. Um, and one thing I thought was, when you close this here, which is the only way, and it clicks, like it doesn't now, but before it turned itself off, but you do that. And I thought that you push this button and it automatically did it. I think that would have been really kind of cool, but you literally push it in to get brighter. So obviously that's the reason why you've got the batteries for it. Uh, I think it's really cool, like for a display, like even if you take the batteries out of it, it's absolutely fine. But I really love this, like it glows more. And then obviously grabbing that, you're meant to kind of grab it that way, but it's easy if you just grab this for a little bit. I don't recommend doing it all the time. But this is what I mean here. Like that should have been the thing where it instantly kind of clicks and opens. So even to activate it, you have to push it more in. And then obviously if you want to push it all the way out, you have to push the button at the back, which is there. But in all, this is really nice. This is like, I think one of the nicer Marvel like kind of props that I've seen, um, you know, the toy props and stuff like that. But I want to put it on and see what it's like properly. Just to show, you can take it apart. You just basically have to link these two together and then pull apart. And that's pretty much it. Just like that. And you can kind of connect it. I mean, to be fair, that's all I have to do. <laughs> and then doing it. So let's see if we can get the light going. So there we go. And then literally, again, I really wish you could push the button and have it turn around. So yeah, like, so you have to really not push it all the way in for it to light up, but it kind of keeps coming out. So there you go. Don't push it all the way in. Well, you do kind of, you have to push it as much as you can. Just be careful. Um, See, like that, it should literally, as soon as you do that, it should light up. Oh, I think that, like, that's the only thing that annoys me about this. But if you're having it open, which I would probably would do, and you're having it around, I would just literally leave it like that and walk around with the time stone. I think that is pretty much it. There we go. Um, so let's have a close look of what it looks like on me. There we go. That is, that, that's, there it is. I really do like this. Um, I think if I was to cosplay as Doctor Strange, you know, I think I would do it. Um, and yeah, so it looks really cool. It's about the same, I think the, the same weight, like the length where it would be on the actor. But there we go, that is it. Yeah. <laughs> I absolutely adore this. And I wanna say a big thank you to my friend for sending this because this is just fantastic. Thank you very much for this. I think this is a really nice item and it was a very nice surprise. So thank you very much. But I'm gonna leave it there. What are your thoughts with this? What do you think about the uh, Eye of Akimoto? Do you think that it's a good thing? Do you think it's a bad thing? Let me know down below in the comments. And if you like this sort of content and you wanna see more, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button as well as check out the merch in the uh, description as well. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. チャンネル登録、高評価、お願い。
以下のリンクから商品を入手することができるよ。